Joining us now is Russ Cohen, NHL author and Philadelphia Flyers writer. All right, the Flyers uh, finally won a the game. They, they win it on the road in Dallas. Yeah, they look good. They look good. At times, it was it was up and down, but Dallas has a similar team too. They both have quick strike offenses, and you know we all like to see better defense. But it's early in the year, and they and they showed resiliency, and that's something that they had last year, and that's a big deal. It was a crazy game. It was <laughs> not a pretty game, but still. It was a seesaw battle. Yeah. I mean, goaltending. Steve Mason's never done well in, in Dallas. It's just one of those things. Mm -hmm. And Ray Emery came in, and, and he even gave up that quick goal. And I bet everybody was thinking, uh oh, this isn't going to end well. Yeah. And, and, and it did. And, and Claude Giroux, that's why Claude Giroux is that guy. Because mm -hmm. when you can get a goal, a big goal like that, that could, you know, help really not turn the season around because it wasn't that bad, but mm -hmm. it could really help. Get things going. And as you said, it's still early. And yeah. you, you mentioned Claude Giroux. The best players on this team are playing well. Giroux, Simmons, Voracek. Um, and even on defense, uh, Mark Streit, mm -hmm. who's coming in for chemo, he's playing well. It's just the rest of the defense, really. You think that's the big problem here? Yeah, there's, there's no question. I mean, when you lose a guy like Brayden Coburn, he's their number one guy. He logs an awful lot of minutes. He's the guy that brings the puck up the ice first. He's the guy that eases everybody into it you know, the offense, and when you lose that guy, all of a sudden that's a seismic change in the defense, and, you know... He's a well, big guy. Yeah, lose. he's a yeah. big guy to lose. Any team, if they lost their number one, would be hurting a little bit, and they brought Nick Grossman up to play mm -hmm. with Strite, and Strite's done a heck of a job. I know there were a lot of people when, when they signed him were thinking, ah, oh, he's getting a little older, didn't do so great with the Islanders, but he's really done well, and, and especially since since the Olympics last year, he's He's really been on a tear. So I think they're doing well. And, and these pairings aren't going to stay this way forever. Coleman will probably be back Tuesday against Chicago. I also think that Stride is doing very well. And he was a former captain in taking over that kind of chemo mm -hmm. leadership role. Yeah, and he has similar traits. You know, he has that offensive game. He's really good on the power play. He is a calming guy. And he's not the skater that chemo team it was, but team it wasn't the skater that he used to be either. So I, I think it's a pretty fair match that way. But he really is a guy that sort of leads by example. He's fairly quiet, yeah, but, yeah. but you know what? He, he's a heck of a player on the ice. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, weak point on this team? Is it the defense that we should be watching to see if this team is going to eventually have a good season, a good run? It's defense, but it's also the shootout. I mean, I said, what is going on with the shootout? I mean, don't ask Groovy about it. No, we don't want to talk about it. Wayne Simmons didn't want to talk about it the other night. What is that? You know, I, I spoke to a couple of different players. You know, P.A. Parento beat the, the Flyers with the Canadians on the shootout, and, and so did Carlson, the rookie with Anaheim. And I spoke to both those guys because I wanted to sort of see what is the mentality that you need to have when you win it? And Parenteau was like, hey, I love having the, the puck on my stick with a chance to win the game. And Carlson's like, hey, I have a chance to win the game. I could be the hero. And I said, well, what if you miss? He goes, so then you miss. Yeah. And I think they're just worried about when they miss. Nobody yeah. seems to have a killer instinct, Claude Giroux included, when the shootout comes. And it just seems like they, they get very robotic. And Absolutely. the Devils didn't make the playoffs last year because of the shootout. Because whether you like it or you don't, points are involved, yeah. Yeah. and you could hemorrhage points that way. So I, I, that's a pretty big deal. And so the shootout is one thing. Defense is the other, but let's face it, they're a team that's close to the cap. They do have a kid, Brandon Manning, who's playing really well in Lehigh, got a game winner the other night. He actually is a pretty decent skater, a little bit of offense, and I think could fill some minutes. So if there is some change that they had to make, he could be the guy. I don't, I, you know, you hear trades, but to give away something, you have to get, to give away something, you have to get something, and it's going to be hard. I think if they brought up Manning, he could log some minutes and maybe get something out of that. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, slow start last year. Do you consider this a slow? Were you starting to get alarmed? How many games do you think they can win in October? It's a tough October. It's a tough October. Uh, I know a lot of us in the press box were looking, could it go 0-6, 0-7, and it could have. I mean, they're, they're Which would have been the most in club history. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they're they're facing the Blackhawks next, next, and they're never easy. They're going to face no. the Penguins, and and they've been very good out in Pittsburgh. But again, year to year, you don't know what's going to happen because the Penguins have changed some personnel too. So it's, it is a tough go, and October is a tough month. But luckily, it's in October. Uh -huh. That's the bonus part of that. And I've seen a lot of teams. The Rangers last year, they were on the road until Madison Square Garden got got renovated, and everybody thought that would be a killer for their season, and they made it to the the Stanley Cup, much to you know, a lot of people's surprise. Mm -hmm. You can't say this early in a hockey season what's going to happen, but the fact is, 
you probably knew that they would get their first win on the road. I, you know, it's always easier on the road, a little less pressure, and, and now I think going into Chicago, they'll play a lot better. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Russ.